Well, just like John said, it's time for this week's Sunday Spotlight and her first interview since Tuesday's reelection. Tucson's Mayor Regina Romero is looking ahead to her second term. 13 News anchor Andrew Capasso has that exclusive interview. This morning in the Sunday Spotlight, my one on one with Tucson's Mayor Regina Romero. This morning, she's coming off that big Election Day win and says she's looking forward to the next four years leading the city. You see the order of candidates where they finished here. The incumbent Democrat well ahead of her opponents, more than 60% of the vote for Romero compared to a little more than 30% for her closest competitor. Now on this Sunday morning, from homelessness to climate change, even jobs, education, and those working with those who ran against her, we take a look at where Ro Mayor Romero takes the city from here. We start this morning with what she is planning to do differently. Well, there's still a lot of work to do, and so, but we started incredible programs to serve the Tucson community that never existed before I became mayor, uh, including a community safety program that we started uh, in collaboration with TPD and other departments within the city of Tucson. So, you know, I want to make sure that we're working towards uh, a safe, sustainable, thriving desert community. And the last four years, we, we started programming and programs to deliver services to Tucsonans that, um, that are that are getting results. They're evidence-based programming, housing first, small business program, uh, and the navigators that we hired. We accomplished uh, the Tucson Resilient Together, uh, the Climate Action and Adaptation Plan. We, uh, you know, we have an implementation plan. We're investing more than eighty million dollars into climate action and resiliency. Um, but you know, as always there's more work to do. And so um, we want to continue those programs and expand uh, new opportunities to really create the vibrant uh, community that we all love uh, and keep moving to some forward. Uh, I want to talk about, uh, just hope, focus on homelessness for a second. Uh, we know the city's taking steps to find these folks uh, at least a temporary place and try to help them. What about tackling the root cause of homelessness? What can we expect moving forward with that? Yes, uh, one of the programs that we started in the city of Tucson that never existed before is the Housing First program. And the Housing First program, like I usually like to explain it, it's an evidence-based program. Uh, other cities have been using it and we are getting incredible results. Here in the city of Tucson, we have permanently housed more than 700 people that were previously unsheltered homeless. And so um, we are going to expand that. Uh, but it's a piece of the puzzle. You house the person first and then look at the at the holistically uh, wrap around the services for them. Uh, it's one of the programs that are out there that the city of Tucson funds. There are other nonprofit organizations that do it differently, but together we, uh, we really are much more effective. And so, yes, there are root causes to unsheltered homelessness and uh, homelessness has existed for decades, and, but I've never seen it. Uh, the way the explosion that we have seen in the last easily four years. And there are, other, there are a lot of issues that cause it, right? And um, mental health, behavioral health issues is one of them. Uh, and the lack of investment from the federal government and the state governments into those issues. Uh, substance use disorders are other issues, right? It is an all hands on deck approach. And what I have learned is that no mayor in America can do it alone. Uh, we need partners in this. We need assistance uh, from every level of government. Uh, one thing that the voters talked about last night was paychecks for you and for mm -hmm. council. It's a very close one. Uh, 
But it appears your paycheck is likely going up pretty significantly, as is council uh, voters, as you know, narrowly approving that. I want to talk about your reaction to that. But what do you think it means for your job and for that of council? Are you more accountable? Does anything change with this with this increase? Um, well, I have I you know, it's not going to change the pattern of my work. I already put about 70 hour work weeks and so, and the, it, it, by the way, it's very similar with my colleagues on the on the council. They have to have another job to pay rent, uh, but my colleagues um, are very dedicated. I mean, we we all put um, anywhere from fifty to seventy hour work weeks. It's Tucson is the thirty third largest city in this country. It's no longer the old tiny little Pueblo where, you know, uh, we could have part time um, council members. And so we have to really uh, pay our colleagues on the council and the mayor a living wage. And um, it will open up the opportunity. It will open up the door for a diverse uh, candidates to be able to run uh, people. Uh, that I believe are leaders in this community. I've asked, right, you know, are you interested in running for council? And people usually say, I can't afford it. I, I have a mortgage. I have a car payment. I have kids in school. Uh, and so uh, it will open up the door for uh, diverse working families, maybe even a single woman, head of household, um, a, a single dad that wants to, you know, put time into serving their community and be able to do it uh, without having to worry of how they're going to pay the rent, how they're going to feed their family. One of your opponents in the race, independent, the independent candidate at Ackerley, says he's willing to work with you and whoever to make Tucson, quote, the best city in the world. Have you reached out to him? What's your response to that? I am willing to work with everyone in the city of Tucson to make it the vibrant, uh, sustainable, uh, diverse, and uh, and um, you know, city with economic opportunity for all. It, I, you know, I will serve as Tucson's mayor to people that voted for me, to people that didn't vote for me. Uh, that is that is not an issue for me, and. Um, uh, I'm I'm everyone's mayor. I'm Tucson's mayor. Every single resident of the city of Tucson is important to me. And on Tucson voters passing a $480 million improvement bond for the Tucson Unified School District. The mayor says she's glad both as a leader of the city and as a TUSD mom. It's something she says she helped campaign for while she was also running for mayor.